Today we'll be making the jacket blocking canvas. We have the top sleeve, the bottom sleeve, the back jacket, the front jacket, the facing, the well pocket, and the back facing. Be sure to double check that your facing overlaps with your self jacket at the hem by one inch. Make sure you mark your pocket opening with the all, but do not cut your pocket opening yet. It is very important that you do not. First, we'll be attaching the welt pocket to the front jacket. Then we will attach the front jacket to the back jacket at the shoulder seam. Then we will attach the front facing to the back facing at the shoulder seam. Then we will attach the facing to the jacket, after which we will close our side seam, attach our top sleeve to the bottom sleeve, then go ahead and attach our sleeve to our jacket. Before I hop on the machine, I go ahead and finalize my pattern piece and just draw in all my markings and my notches so it's easier for me to sew. So I begin by sewing in all my darts at my waist and also my bust dart on my front jacket. Once that is done, I move to the machine and I put fuse in that is three inches by seven inches. I basically measured the welt pocket opening and then I made sure that I added one inch on both sides. And then I also added um, an inch and a half to both sides of my pocket opening just all around. Um, and so I cut that rectangle and I press it on to where my pocket opening for my welt should be. It is important to have fusing here so it stabilizes the pocket and just so our fabric doesn't fray. Um, for my actual welt pocket bag and welt, I measure down an inch and a half away from the top of my pocket and it is on that at that point that I will be fusing my interfacing onto my fabric, making sure I have an equal amount on both edges of my pocket. Okay. So I'm going to draw my welt pocket, my welt pocket opening onto my jacket, my front jacket. But first, I want you guys to know that when you're sewing, you are going to be sewing right sides to right sides. So that means you should be able to see your fusing um, on your pocket bag when you're sewing. So the first thing I do using my drill holes to guide me, I go ahead and I draw my welt pocket opening onto my front jacket. Keep in mind that this is a Fusion X pen and that when I press, it erases my pen markings. So please use garment chalk or you can use an erasable marker like this that will erase once you press it. So not only am I drawing my welt pocket opening, I'm also drawing the lines in the center of my welt pocket. And I'm also going to draw um, rectangular lines from my drill hole to the corners of my welt um, pocket. I make sure that I draw my welt pocket on my front jacket and I also draw it on my welt pocket about half an inch away from the top of where my fusing is is where I start to draw my pocket
at this point where I am marking from my drill hole to the corners of the rectangle, that is what I mean by completing my pocket opening drawing. So there should be a line going from drill hole to drill hole and then from the drill holes going into the corner of the well pocket opening. Once I do that, I go ahead and align my drawings and then I pin my fabric to the side. Um, I'm just going to be sewing over the rectangles so I can just pin my pocket opening flat to my jacket and also using those pin to pin away any excess fabric and to also pin my dart in one particular direction which is going towards the center front now i'm going to go ahead and sew this over this rectangle here is my rectangle sewn so now I'm going to go ahead and clip my pocket opening open. I'm basically going to cut through the line that connects both drill holes. And then I am going to cut from drill hole to the corner of the rectangle. It is very important that you do not cut beyond your thread and that you cut exactly from the drill hole to the corner of your thread. If you stop before, your wall pocket is going to have a lot of crimping and if you stop after, you're literally cutting a hole into your garment. So make sure you cut directly from your drill hole to the corner of your pocket opening that you've sewn once you've made your cuts you're going to go ahead and basically pull your welt pocket into the wrong side of your jacket so that means the fabric is going through to the back and then you're just going to massage the corners of your welt pocket just so you make sure you work out any crinkles or any crimping that might be there um, and then we are going to press our pocket opening into perfection. Um, I definitely should have eased up on my steam when I was pressing. I believe it's because I was just using a lot of steam even when i didn't need steam that's why i ended up pressing a lot of wrinkles into my pocket and into my front now we're literally just going to pick the fabric up and fold it to the pocket opening so literally you're going to pinch about half an inch of fabric folded which is total one inch and you're aiming to basically just fold that half an inch to the well pocket opening at the top and once you have this and it looks good you can go ahead and flip it to the front to just double check go ahead and press this Here we can see the collateral damage of my oversteaming, but that's okay. We can press that out, but I'm just going to go ahead and press them. Just press a little bit more, get the little wrinkles out. But the goal is for you to see what your pocket opening should look like. Now we are going to stitch our welt into place. There are multiple ways to do this, but I'm simply going to stitch the corner of my welt opening to my actual welt that I folded. I 
I will be folding over the stitch that is there because of the rectangle stitch on both sides of my pocket. Another option is for you to do a top stitch around the entire edge of your welt or to do um, zigzag stitches on both sides of your pocket where I'm currently stitching. And just like that, my welt has been installed into my front jacket. I will now complete my pocket by folding my pocket back in half and stitching at a half an inch seam allowance all the way around my pocket. And now my jacket pocket is complete. I can put my phone in it, I can put my wallet. It's just an easy way to do the wallet pocket, very simple. Now I am basically get preparing my jacket, my back jacket. I am closing up the darts and then I'm going to go ahead and so my center back shot since my back is cut too once i am done sewing my center back shut I go ahead and press my center back open. Once that's done, I press it off camera. I now attach my front jacket to my back jacket at my shoulder seam. Once that's done, I am going to go ahead and make my facings into one piece. I do this by simply joining my back facing to my front facing at the shoulder seam. Make sure that when you're attaching them, you make sure that the curve for the neck are facing each other, meaning they're not going in opposite directions. If your curve is, your front curve doesn't match your back curve, you are sewing, you're facing the wrong way. Now go ahead and press all your shoulder seams open, um, your facing and your self jacket. Once that is done, you pin your facing to your jacket, um, making sure that the, the side that is fused is on the wrong side and that it's your right side so that means the right side of your fabric touching the right side of your fabric pin all the major edges you're basically going to sew from the hem at a half an inch then go to the opening slash neckline and sew at a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around to the other end of your jacket
once you're done attaching your facing to your jacket, you are going to understitch your, um, that stitch that you just sewed, making sure that the excess is going towards the facing. Basically, an understitch is stitching right next to the stitch that you just did on the wrong side. Um, be careful when you get to corners. I like to just reverse stitch, back stitch, skip the corner, and then just start um, on, the, on the other side of the corner. Um, just start sewing at that point again. Um, all, the, all the way until I get to another corner and then I skip over that again. And just repeat the process until you're done understitching. Once you're done understitching, go ahead and press that. But now we can go ahead and sew our side seam shut because we are prepping to attach the sleeve. Before I attach my sleeve to my jacket, I have to make sure that my sleeve is whole, which means I have to join my bottom sleeve to my top sleeve. Here I am transferring my markings to my sleeve just so they can be clear. It is very important that you mark all your notches so you do not sew your the front side of your two-piece sleeve to the back side of your two-piece sleeve. Um, what that's just a disaster waiting to happen. So just make sure that you have all your notches and you sew properly, making sure your front is your front and your back is your back. Your back should have a slight curve. Um, your front should also have a slight indentation, but basically your sleeve should look like a nice um, lowercase L by the time you're done. Um, now, I am going to basically gather the cap of my sleeve. Um, I know most people that sew jackets like to crimp, but I prefer gathering. And I do this by um, sewing two basting stitch, both of them at a quarter inch seam, and then gathering that basting stitch to create the perfect crimps. Crimps don't hold for me, so that's why I prefer to gather. And it's also easier for me to control and distribute the ease. Once that's done, go ahead and pin your sleeve to your jacket, and now you can start sewing. I like to sew with my jacket being at the bottom and my sleeve being on the inside that's because when i am going around the curve of the cap it's easier for me to control it that way and to make sure that i am sewing that part really smooth making sure that my cap is just attached nice and smooth and there isn't a lot of gathers um, and i can see what i am doing If you successfully followed all the steps, congratulations, we are at the end. All that's left for us to do is to hem our jacket and to hem the sleeve. We do this by turning in the facing. Um, I'd like to twist the corner and then push it through and then just rub that um, corner until it peaks almost like you're squeezing your little nieces or like your little your little cousin's cheeks you just want to squeeze it it's like mm, so cute and then um, if you need further assistance you can use a pull a pin to pull that edge out but basically we are going to be sewing the hem because we have a one and a half inch seam allowance we are just going to be sewing the hem at a one inch seam allowance which means the half an inch will just be dangling there once you're done with that on the jacket itself go ahead and do that to your sleeves at both sides and voila you are done congratulations on completing the jacket block in 
Canva. 